Hello, it's Matthias Fuko here today at Sandringham Station talking about the safe injecting rooms that are opening up in Victoria today and getting people's opinions on them. So let's dive straight into this. Day. Gwen. Gwen. Nice to meet you, Gwen. Um, what do you think? Um, what is your opinion on legal injecting rooms in Melbourne today? I think if it makes it safer for people and their lives saved, it's a good idea. It's a very good response. What do you think? Do you think it will help improve society for the better? Yes, it keeps the drug users off the streets and they're confined to an area where they're safe and the public is safe as well. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, Gwen, for today. Thank you for that. We have, what's your name today? Oh, it's Hendrika. Damien, yeah. Nice, nice to meet you today. What do you think injecting rooms will bring to Melbourne? Well, for what it's worth, what I've seen on TV, it hasn't looked too good. I've seen this young child standing there looking around if he may also have an injection. And that wasn't a very good impression to me. Do you, do you think it will benefit our society in any way? Uh, I doubt it. I'm, I'm not very... Uh, hopeful on that. I don't think it will. Thank you very much for your time today. Hello, I'm here with today Will. So Will, what do you think legal injecting rooms in Victoria will bring to society? Um, I'm not really that knowledgeable of the uh, topic but um, I guess for people who take drugs, like taking them without supervision could be pretty dangerous like, I don't know, like they might overdose or something like that so if it's under supervision it could be less detrimental to those people who take it and I don't know yeah less dangerous very very good answer and do you think if we open up more of these injecting rooms in Victoria do you think it will benefit like society in any any way um I'm not sure if it would I don't know like benefit society like I don't think it'd really do anything for the economy or anything like that, but um, it'd do a lot of help for people who do drugs oftenly. Um, but yeah, not sure about society though. Thank you for your time. Hello, I'm with here today. I'm Tim. Tim. So Tim, what do you, what's your opinions on legal injecting rooms in Victoria? Um, I mean, if it keeps them off the streets, then I don't see a problem with it. You know, everyone has their own sort of opinion. Um, about it but I think it's probably a more safe environment than someone doing it on the street um, without any sort of support. That's a good opinion there and do you think it will benefit our society in any way? Um, if it, I mean it obviously keeps them off the streets so you know it provides them with the support that they need um, and I guess it sort of just cleans everything up so you don't have kind of rubbish on the streets and you know people living around um, you know out of home I guess. Too easy. Well, thank you for your time today. I'm here with today, Jim. And what? So, what is your opinions on the legal injecting rooms opening up? Uh, well, firstly, from what I know, and I'm not an expert in it, they should be in areas that aren't near school kids for a start. They should be built in areas that don't attract any extra drug taking. And clearly, there are issues in Richmond where they built it, and typical of the Andrews government. Exactly. Um, what is do you think it will, with the idea of legal and safe injecting rooms, do you think it will benefit society in any way? Or? I think legalising drugs would fix it because you'd take all the bad drugs out of the marketplace. So they should legalise a lot of drugs except ice and they should punish those who want to distribute ice more. We're the softest place in the world for distribu distribution of drugs. If you go to Asia and you get caught, you don't live. Here, you just get a slap on the wrist and you're selling drugs again in three weeks or three months or three years. So the issue is clearly we don't we we're, we're too nice to people who break the law. Well, thank you, Jim, for your time today. Here with today, Lily. So, Lily, what's your opinions on the injecting rooms that have opened up in Richmond so far? I think it's a great idea. Like, um, honestly, I just like I don't know enough about it, but I think like if you're protecting people from other like the public and like children I think it's a great idea like obviously you need help in that area so as long as there's being facilities provided I think it's a good idea. Do you think it will benefit society in the future in any way? I hope so obviously there will be backlash and um, 
like negatives, but hopefully there is definitely will be. Well, thank you, Lily, for your time. Well, we're back at home. Unfortunately, we had to come home due to the cold weather we experienced in Sandringham. But today's episode was a success, and we found out that the younger people were a lot more aware about the issue, and the older older generation or the older people were aware, but they didn't really have that greater of an opinion on it. But thank you for you guys watching, and hopefully you can catch us next time on our next Matters Palooka Australia interview.